Hey friends, have you taken any first day pictures lately? Friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always love to connect with you. Good to be back with you. I've certainly enjoyed some time away on a study leave. Bit of a sabbatical, we call that. Just kind of wrapping that up now. Look forward to being back with you on September 11. But that question for you again, have you taken any first day pictures lately? Here's why I ask that. In the community in which I live down in Fruitport, school started on Monday. Some of the other districts are waiting a week. Some started a week ago already, but you'll know by those yellow buses, the kids are back in school. And of course, if the kids are back in school, it doesn't take long for moms and dads to take first day pictures. You know, pictures of the, this is junior starting first grade. This is little Sally starting third grade, little easels out in front of them, new clothes, smiles, all of that. It's their first day picture. And sometimes we take pictures of their last day as well, but it's meant to be kind of the, this is the beginning of something brand new. Well, here's a thought for you today. I wonder if you've experienced anything brand new of God lately. And if you did, did you think enough of that to take a picture of it? Maybe even just a mental picture. Here's why I say that. During the course of my sabbatical, I've been doing a fair amount of studying about spiritual leadership, kind of a focus. And one of the people I've been reading about is Moses. Now, if you don't know Moses, book of Exodus, Moses was in the palace of Pharaoh at one point in time in his life. He was living royalty, struggled with his own identity, committed a crime, ran away out into the desert. The Bible says he was out in a place called Midian. You can just think edge of the earth lost forever. How in the world did he get out there? one day sees a shrub that's burning and God speaks to him from that shrub. From that moment, God puts him into a position of leadership by which Moses will now eventually lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Here's the way I look at that. Moses' day with that shrub, that day when God was speaking to him, was certainly a first day kind of picture. I don't think there was anyone around to take a picture of Moses, but that certainly was an important red letter day in his life. He was lost and then he was empowered by God to go do something special. But here's something to keep in mind. When our kids go off to school and we take their first day pictures, there might be a little bit of sadness because, well, that means that summer's done and now they're going back to school and some of the kids might not be all that thrilled about that. Here's something you ought to know about first day events in the Bible, and there's a lot of them. Quite often, God reaches out to people who are in pain. He takes people who are in a time of discomfort, disillusionment, disillusionment, some discouragement, maybe a time of some really significant pain in their life. God calls them, sets them on a new path, and it becomes a first day kind of experience. Moses certainly isn't the only person who experienced something like that. Think of some of the disciples. Jesus calling them from one type of life, saying, hey, it's a first day experience for you. Let's get a picture of this because I have a new purpose for your life. You're going to love this. Think of some of the other characters from the Old Testament where God reaches out to them, the Gideons and so on. God reaches out to them. They had one kind of life, disillusionment, trouble, pain. God sets them on their feet again and sets them off on a new course in life. God loves to do first days. And I'll bet you can think of people in your life who've had a bit of pain in their life, God reached in, restored, healed, gave them new purpose, new identity. Friends, why don't we take more first day pictures when someone has a new kind of purpose in their life given to them by God? I know I'd love that thought. I'll bet you can find times in your life, if you do a little searching up here, of some times when you've had first day experiences with God as well. God loves to do first days. And if you're not taking the pictures, believe me, God is. I believe that heaven's halls are filled with those pictures. Friends, I hope that you're enjoying these last days of summer. If you've got kids in the home, I hope you're enjoying these last few days with them before we send them off on their school year. But just know that God loves you. God has plans for your life and God loves to do first days with you. Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Know that we love you and we're praying for you. See you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.